Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can call BI report from SOAP UI. Directly, we can say that how we can we can call or we can run the BI report from SOAP Web Services. So let's begin. So before going to start, I request you to if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to sub like the video. So right now I am going to navigate to the uh, report so that I can show you where is my report. So once I will show you the report before going to uh, like uh, call the BI report from SOAP services, we require the report absolute path or we can say the report directory. So once we will have the report directory, we will identify do we have any parameters and all. So everything it will be required in the BI report only. So as I told you that this suppose you can see this is my BI report and this is the directory of my report. So the first point is that let me show you to how to run the report. So here I have run the report from Fusion front end and you can see the, this report is showing the data. Showing the record in CSV format and this report doesn't have any parameters. If you have your report have the parameters, you need to require the parameters name so that you can pass that name to the SOAP services. I will show you everything in detail. So now you can see I have the report. So first I need to identify the report path with the name. So how we can identify? Directly you can see by navigating we can identify or else you can see this is the path of the report and this is the report name. And we need the report that is dot, dot .xdo name. So how we can simply identify? Just right click here, here and you can see this is the schedules. Once you will move to the schedule, here only you can get the complete path of your BI report. You can see that the dot .xdo is the report complete xx underscore inv underscore report dot .xdo. This is the report and they're starting from the custom as this is in share folder. So I will copy this one and I have make a note of here. You can see the report path so that I can show you the same where I will use in the calling the services. Now you can see we have the report details, report path and as we know that we don't have any parameters here. So that don't require. Now next, next is that identify the web services to call the report. So as I told you that Oracle provided the SOAP web services to call the report. What kind of SOAP services? The external report WS services. That's the WSDL, WSDL URL to call the web services, call the SOAP web services. So here, this is the URL. I will provide this URL in the description of this video. And here you can see this is the server name. Instead of the server name, you need to provide your instance host. So as you can see, this is my instance. So this is the host name that after http slash slash this is after the before the dot com this one this is my host so i will copy this one and i will provide this here instead of service name server name so this is my soap url or we can say the soap visitor link to call the bi report or invoke the bi report so now how we can use that for executing the soap services or calling the soap web services we require any software that can be that the that we can consider as an ID just like for C or C++ programming we have uh, different different IDs like Turbo C++ or we have NetBeans, Eclipse and all. The same as for executing the web services we have the software or we have the website that is that the the Postman or SOAP UI. So SOAP UI is specifically a software that is useful for executing the SOAP web services even we can also execute the REST services there. So we have completed our SOAP URL to call the call the BI report. So I will copy this one and come to the SOAP UI web so SOAP UI services. You can see this is a software SOAP UI. In this software, we will we will call the SOAP services. So how we can initiate or start? So first we need to create the SOAP project. For creating that, we need to move to the file and here we have option to new SOAP project. Click here and here we have to provide the project name and the URL. You can see the initiate WSDL link URL and here you can see this is our web services. So web services with the WSDL link. So I have already copy. I will paste here and here we have to provide the name name of the project. So I will provide the name as XX BI report call and now click OK. So once you will click on OK, all the services inside the WSDL link or the, inside the SOAP services is will it will list down. On inside the services, we have one specific services that is run report. That run report services is useful to invoking the BI report or calling the BI report. So I will show you that one. So it will take a little bit of time to load all the services. So just wait for that. It's showing some error. Let me run the run again or put it in. This is the visitor. Now click OK. 
just wait for a while it will load that one so once completed you can see that the xxbi report project created and inside that we have all the services so as i told you we have to run the report call the bi report so that's why we have one services that is called run report so once you will expand you can see the request one once you will click here it will show you the page and here we have two part two part of the services the first one is the request payload and the second one is the response payload this side right so whenever we are saying that request payload it means that the request parameter request values we are going to pass to these services to the soap services so inside this all the request we will pass only mandatory field which is required to call the bi report and i will remove all these things so here you can see we have all the tags right you can see the metadata list tag inside that we have name tag and the question mark denote that we have to replace the value you have we have to provide the value here and if suppose i don't want to provide any value we can remove this question mark so that it will be null value or empty value right so let let me uh, remove all the extra values which is not required so here you can see while calling the report the xdo property list is not required as we are calling the B report from fusion and in the fusion it's already configure all these properties and things right so that's why we don't require so i will remove this one and after that you can see this is the attribute calendar attribute format local and all so all these things are already defined in report so it's not required right so i will remove that one but you can see the attribute format is the one which define that the report output format if we will not pass any value here it will show the default report default default output format set for the report so what kind of default output format i will show you here you can see once i will edit the integration here you can see this is the default format so this is the default output format as csv if we will not provide any value it will show us the result re result of the report in csv even we can change here by xml or pdf so same thing we can do here by writing that one csv or xml xml or anything right so right now i don't want to pass anything i will remove this one and here this is the attribute calendar it's already defined so don't require to pass here i will remove all these things right dynamic data source it's not required already we have we can remove this one dynamic data source and after that you can see flatten xml it's also not required we will remove and now here you can see this is a parameter name value as i told you in our program is or in our report we don't have parameter so even it's not required to pass these things but what i will do i will remove the extra things and i will let it be as same by removing the question mark so that in later on when our next report call if we have parameters we can add right so you can see parameter name values it's item item consider as the value so this can be the name of the report the name of the parameter so inside the item you can see this is the extra field i will remove here and here inside the item we have required only name this name is the report parameter name right so after that you can see we have all these things it's not required i will remove this is the value and this is the value for this parameter name right so in the value you can see the item inside the value item define the value so suppose parameter name is that the p last run date and the value is 342022 so the value we will define here so suppose it will be the suppose p underscore last run this is the parameter and here value we will provide as 223 bara zero fun something like that right so this is the value for the parameters so right now we don't have any parameters i will remove here as we don't have parameter we don't require values and that's fine so this is the parameter list so as i we don't have parameter we will not do any anything we can remove these things but we will let it be so that later on we can add the value once we will run the report now you can see this is a report absolute path this report absolute path is nothing but it's a path of the complete report so here we have already make a copy of that one so this is the report path custom bi one so i will copy this one and i will provide the report path here instead of question mark i will provide the report complete path that is the report absolute path after that we don't require this report data report output path report do we don't require and now we have size of data chunk download so instead of question mark we have to pass minus 1 so that it will return all the data in a single hit only right so now only this three value are mandatory while running the bi report from soap services the first one is the report path 
the size of data chunk this app parameter is also not required i will remove here and the third one is that the attribute format if we will not pass anything it will pick default from the report setting right and the parameters so right now we don't have any value in parameters we will escape so now our payload is ready this request payload is ready request payload means the parameter means the value we are calling to the soap services it's ready now we have to provide the authentication authentication means that the, we are calling the report fusion report from any third party system so what kind of user we will use for that the fusion user we require so in authentication here we will go for the add new authentication we will select and okay and here we have to provide the username and password this username and password will be for the fusion application for this instance right remember so now i will put username and password here so i have entered username and password for that now i will click here to hide this one right so just click and now everything is ready i will click here to run or execute the soap services so just click here once you will click here in the response payload you will get the response or get the output so once here you can see in we are in the raw tab just click here xml and you can see the report byte is the response of your bi report and remember whenever we are calling report from soap services it is returning report data in base 64 code remember it is returning data in base 64 code so here you can see this is the data this is the data report byte is our report result report output and this output is in base 64 code once we will convert this base 64 code or we will decode this base 64 code we will get our actual data so you can see this is the value this is the data of the report so i will do i will just make a copy of half one it's too big so now i will make a i have already copied this one now i will convert this base 64 code into actual file data so how we will convert that one for converting that one we need to move to the website here and we have one website base64 code decode.org there are various website but i am generally following this this one so now here you can see once you will click here in the decode option it will ask you to paste the decoded value base64 value so i will paste here this is my base64 code value i have copy from the output of the a response of the soap services from here now once you will click here on the decode it will convert that into actual file data so you can see this is our report data as i have shown you earlier so once you will go for the running the report the output you can see this is the same output right invoice id vendor id invoice number here right you can see so this is the way we can execute bi report in next video, I will show you why, how we will call the BI report with parameters. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other query, you can make a comment on that. Thank you so much again.